Hello and welcome back to another room tour from me. Today I'm in Boise, Idaho, staying at the Inn at 500 Capital in Boise City Centre. This room is incredible and I'm so excited to show you around, it's actually insane. Um, I'm in room 602, which is on the top floor. I'm gonna have to show you because honestly it's just incredible, it's absolutely stunning. So as always, you come, <laughs> you come in through a door and you come into this. So this here, you have your very own kitchen with <laughs> all the appliances you need, including a microwave, you've got a sink, a coffee, ma coffee machine, you've got a big fridge, you just have everything. Um, this here, there's even a butler's pantry so that if the staff need to leave anything for you, they put it through this little door over there. Um, and then, I don't know what that does. Anyway, and then there's this really cute little dining area. Um, they leave snacks and drinks for you and they actually have all of these down in the lobby as well and you can help yourself anytime. You can just go down there and help yourself. I am in love, you guys. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I'm obsessed with the artwork. The glass is just stunning. Um, and then in here, you have a little toilet, a little powder room. Um, and then through here, we then come round. You've got this, I don't know even what this is. It's like a little utility area. It's just loads of cupboards and a sink. I'm not sure. But here, look how cosy this couch looks. I literally just want to throw myself on it and eat crisps and chocolate and watch a movie. <laughs> um, and then you even have a balcony that overlooks the city and the mountains. It's so pretty. You can eat out there, there's table and chairs. And then, oh my gosh, the bedroom. The bedroom bathroom is my favorite part. Are you guys ready? Okay, this, this is the bedroom. Look how beautiful it is. I mean, it is just stunning. I am obsessed. There's a fireplace, there's a big TV. Oh my goodness, and look at this sunset. Ah, oh, beautiful. And then the bathroom. <laughs> you guys, I actually squealed when I saw this bathroom. Look, there's a dressing table. And then here you've got this huge shower and bath unit. I mean, have you ever seen so many different shower thingies? I don't even know, like, what would you even use those all for? My gosh. And then, oh, there's bath. I'm going to have to have a bath tonight, aren't I? And there's two, not one, but two showers. There's this shower, this shower, and these showers. <laughs> And then you've also got your slippers. And through here, you've got the sink area, his and hers sinks. Um, the finishes are just stunning. And I love it when they include little makeup flannels so that you don't get white flannels all dirty with makeup. You've got bits and bobs here. You've got these beautiful, beautiful gowns. They're super soft. And then in here you've got the toilet, another toilet, so you've got two toilets in here, and I think I've, you've got one, two, three, four, five sinks. Five sinks, you guys. So yes, yeah, so this is the bedroom from the other way. Um, I haven't fully investigated everything. Oh, look, there are scales here. Should you want to use some scales? What else have we got? Um, oh, this is the closet. So in here, you've got an iron, an ironing board, suitcase holders, hangers, um, an extra pillow, that looks like. And then if we close that, next to the bed, we've got a little radio and charging station. So you've got a normal charger, and then you've also got USB chargers as well, which is handy. Um, and then around here we've got the phone, um, notepad and pen, and then 
through here in the living room we've got loads of magazines um what else have we got gosh there's another fireplace here another huge television my god i wish i was staying here for a week this would literally be the most perfect place to just stay for a week and chill out and just enjoy it um okay so here we've got all the coffee things um oh, they provide complimentary water in glass bottles but they reuse the glass bottles so you have to leave them here so that they can wash them and reuse them which i really like um and then you've got ice buckets goodness me there are so many things oh there's the safe okay there's the safe there what have we got here oh we've got another closet oh my goodness there's so much closet space i guess this is more of a, clo of a coat cupboard um oh look at it honestly i'm so blown away by this room i was not expecting it at all i thought i was just gonna have like a very normal standard entry level room and i have this it's mad um oh it's just so beautiful i'm so glad that i'm here i've got the view of the mountains um oh yeah and you know what i've had such a day as well i what happened oh i was in bozeman and i found the people in bozeman very unfriendly and very rude um completely different to the people in butte and i spoke to my cousin about this because my cousin lives in livingston which is about half an hour from bozeman and even she said everybody in Bozeman's really unfriendly because like she didn't mention anything to me when I saw her yesterday and then I said to her today I was like people in Bozeman are rude <laughs> like nobody is friendly no one is nice everyone's mean and she was like oh yeah I forgot to tell you <laughs> she was like yeah we live half an hour away but it, Bozeman people are like very tribal apparently she said they even tried to like go to a church in Bozeman and all the locals would not accept them even though they only live half an hour away um and they're from Montana originally so it's not as if they're like Californians moving into the area or something um like literally their grandparents and great-grandparents are from Montana so they are locals um so yeah I had that I just had loads of people in Bozeman being really rude and then my flight was delayed by like two hours. And you know when everything's just going a bit wrong and you're just like, oh, I'm just fed up. I just want to get there. I'm tired. Anyway, so I eventually got here and now I have this incredible room. And oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So I have two nights here and then I leave to go back to London Friday afternoon. So it's now Wednesday evening. But yeah, I will update you all on this room and my experience a little bit later after I've had at least a night or so here. Um, but first impressions are very good so far. We'll see if it lasts. Good morning, everybody. Okay, so last time you saw me, well, I was giving you my little room tour. And I said I would let you know how it was. Firstly, it's been incredible. Like, oh my god, this whole stay has been amazing. But I have to show you things that I missed in that original room tour. Hang on. Okay. So firstly, do you remember how I showed you a balcony? So I actually have not one balcony. Not two balconies. But I have three balconies. And this one is the biggest. The one from the bathroom is the biggest. It's huge. Um, so yeah, spoiled for choice with balconies and outdoor tables. And then also, I also wanted to show you this light because it's just incredible. I am in love with it. You can't really see it very well in this light, but at night time when the curtains are closed, it just looks so stunning. So yeah, that's it. That is the end of my stay. I hope this room tour has been really, really useful for you. Please like, subscribe, and yeah, follow me for more luxury hotel rentals. Bye.